Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that's the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And today I want to talk about Victories Greater Than Death by Charlie Jane Andrews. This is one of my new releases reviews. And Victories Greater Than Death came out in April 2021. So I was really excited to read this book because last year I read The City in the Middle of the Night by Charlie Jane Andrews and loved it. And I love space opera, so Charlie Jane Andrews space opera, what was there not for me to love, right? So this is a space opera YA following Tina Maines, who, since she was a small child, has known that she is an alien clone of a famous general who died. And the military force that that general was in is going to be coming for her when the time is right. And how they will know that time is right is the beacon that's been placed inside of her will activate. But when that activates, also the enemy will know where she is as well. She has been given human DNA to help her fit in here on Earth. Where we pick up, she is, I think, 17? 17, 18? At the end of high school age, and she is desperately trying to figure out how to activate this beacon. She has felt like it has gotten close before, but then turned itself back off again. Helping her is her best friend, Rachel, who is an artist and a great supporter. I mean, think back to when you were in, a teenager. If you had told your best friend that you were an alien clone and you would one day be leaving the Earth, how many of your friends would believe that? Well, Rachel doesn't doubt. As the inciting incident, the beacon is activated. Tina is taken back up to the stars. But it's not all that it was cracked out to be, and now she's having to fight her the original's enemy. I ended up giving this book four stars. I liked it, but I feel like it was shortchanged in many ways. I feel like, one, it was too short to cover all the themes that Anders was trying to cover. Because of how short it was, I don't feel like the characters were able to get fleshed out enough. I don't think we were given enough time to be in the locations where they are. We have a few locations on the ship that are described really well, and then everything else is just very vague. And yes, your imagination can fill in the rest, but when you have such good word description of those few locations, to then get nothing is kind of frustrating. At a certain point of the book, all of a sudden, from having more of a linear story, we start jumping into different like quick vignettes that is supposed to convey the passage of time and I don't think it did a good job conveying that. Again, this book needed to be longer and possibly chopped in two. I know that one of the themes Anders was really wanting to hit upon was representation in this alien society. Every single person, along with introducing themselves, also says their pronouns or if they don't have a pronoun, there, there was one race that if you pronoun them, then that is a big taboo and they consider that a challenge to fight to the death. It was an interesting concept that Anders was doing here with this story. Another main theme that Anders was doing was focusing on trauma and mental health. And I don't think that she had enough page time to fully convey that. With everything that she was trying to convey in the space opera story itself, it ended up making the characters rather one note instead of allowing them to become fully fleshed. Besides Tina and Rachel, Rachel ends up getting caught up with Tina when Tina is first picked up. Everybody else who comes on, it's like they have one thing and then that's it. We don't get a fuller, broader picture. Now I tend to be more of a character reader and I enjoy things more character driven than plot driven. And I think in this book, the plot was the guiding force but I think it was done really well. I really enjoyed the plot. Um, I really enjoyed the full arc of the story. Again, I just wish it was more. I wish there was more. This book could have been longer. Teenagers, young adult, whoever picks up this book is probably going to feel the same way. If I had read this as a teenager, I still would be disappointed. I felt like the text was treating me like I was stupid. And I think that is a trend in YA fantasy is to dumb things down for the teenagers when, in fact, you actually need to dumb things down for adult readers because adult 
most adult readers don't want to spend as much time reading as like YA audiences. You need to make it more engaging for a YA audience. Don't talk down to them. That's just a bad habit. And considering that I read Anders' adult novel last year, I was expecting that same level of writing for this book. And so I was disappointed to have gotten a watered down version of that. And I, and I honestly believe it's a disservice to this book. That's really why it didn't get five stars for me because it was a stylistic choice. And whoever had told Anders that she should have dumped it down did her, did not only her, the author a, a disservice, did the story a tragedy. The plot and the intrigue are really what saved this story to be a four stars. It was looking to be more of a three star for me because of that writing style and because the characters were so one note. Again, I, I probably sound like I'm harsh and you have to remember I did rate this four stars, which means I did like this book. I'm just disappointed because it could have been so much better. And from what the author has given me before, I think my disappointment's justified. But I want to end this review on a positive note. And something that I absolutely love is the design of this. You've gotten to look at the cover this whole time, but I'm going to insert a moment of footage where I filmed what the end page looks like. Okay. I just wanted to show this end page in here because I think it's gorgeous. I mean, the cover is gorgeous as well, but I wanted to get this in here now before I had to return the book. Also, I would really love to have a copy of this picture. So if anyone knows who the artist is, please let me know. So yes, the artwork for this book is gorgeous. I think the design elements were wonderfully chosen. If you have read this book, please talk to me about this because I am very much conflicted. My hopes and my expectations for this book were a lot higher, and so I would like to hear from people who have read this who didn't maybe have such high expectations as I did. And tell, talk to me about your thoughts. Did you like this book? Are you excited to read the next one That because this is going to be a series? Or do you feel the same as I do about it? Please leave your comments down below. If you're enjoying this series of me talking about my reviews for new releases, things that have come out within this, a year from when I read them, please click that subscribe button. Thank you and have a great day.